So today I wanna to talk to you guys about the power of your thoughts. And I know I'm not like a guru at this point of my life. However, the more I look into it, the more I really believe that what you think about, you bring about. And we hear this all the time because people are always like, oh, people who are negative only see the negative. And if you are always looking for yellow cars, you're gonna see yellow cars everywhere you go because that's where your focus is. But boy, oh boy, have we been working on this and really being mindful about it. And it's kind of insane. So I'm gonna insert a clip right here that I recorded a few weeks back when I lost my job. And the way my mind has flipped that around, I don't even like to say that I lost my job anymore. Do I have that job? No. But I think instead what I've done is I've found or I was given the chance to find some freedom. Hey, I'm Lynn, I'm almost 40, and as of about 17 hours ago, I found out I no longer have a job. The crazy part about this is that this is kind of something I've been praying over and praying for for a long time. I don't wanna be stuck in this position. I don't want to do the thing I was doing. Would've liked some heads up, but hey, you get what you get. So all of my previous talk about turning 40, making it the best year yet, has an even better chance of actually coming to fruition because I gotta get creative now. I've got some money to make up for, and to be honest, why not make more money? The security that came with a paycheck was fantastic, and uh, I do miss having extra monies, but I'm gonna speak life into that, and I believe that more money is coming. I believe that more opportunities are coming. In fact, I believe it so much that I am not looking for another job. I've started my own little business on the side. I've got a couple of clients. I am looking for some more, but at the same time, I am free. I am free to pursue whatever it is I want. But how does your mindset play a role in this? Well, your mindset tells the rest of your body and God or the universe, however you wanna look into it. I am a Christian, I believe that it's my God. And scripture backs it up. Scripture tells us you have not because you've asked not. And then you think about the times in the Bible, like in Exodus, he didn't want to just save the Israelites. He wanted to save them in a big way. He was about to show up and show off. And why can't he do that for us? He's limitless. And if you don't believe in God, if you are a universal believer, it's the same theory. You really think that the universe can exist like this, but it's unable to help you with the things that you want, that doesn't make sense. I remember when we were looking for our house and I wanted a house with stairs, be them upstairs or downstairs to a basement, I did not care. My husband wanted a fireplace. We looked at a hundred houses. The one we found that we live in now has stairs and has a fireplace. Now sure, you could get statistical and say the odds are that eventually you're gonna find a house that checks all those boxes but it was less than a year. And I really think that that one was just a product of us being like, this is exactly what we want. Caroline really, really wants a horse. She loves horses. She's been working with them. I casually mentioned to somebody uh, at one of the barns how much she loves them and how much she's working and saving. And she says, I have a horse you can have. Now, mind you, it's not actually like a gifted horse, here you go, but it's kind of like a lease type situation. We get to go and groom it. She's going to be able to ride it. She's going to be able to take care of it as if it is hers. And who's to say it won't be? We also started doing six most important things lists where we are intentional about the things that we want to do the next day. So we do them at night. Lo and behold, Caroline adds make money to her list. And I'm thinking that is probably not going to happen. But then in the middle of volunteering, she was offered payment could be a coincidence. I'm choosing to believe it's not. The fact that my nine-year-old can write on her to-do list that she's gonna make money and money appears, it sounds to me like she asked for it and it was granted to her. Whee! Whoa. It keeps getting like stuck. Caroline, what is um, something that you've learned about our thoughts and the way your thoughts affect your life. Um, that if you actually are doing like nice 
to yourself and speaking nice words that you'll get what you're wanting. And if you don't, you like you don't get anything out of it. Yeah, you kind of push it away. It's like the law of attraction. That's another part of the way your thoughts really affect your life. I will always tell her, you can do that. Don't say that you can't because you can. So I just want to encourage you today to be mindful about the things that you are asking for, even if it's unintentional. What you think about, you really do bring about. So dream big, think big, ask big, because it's out there and it's available for you too.